All right, you guys. So this is gonna be a little bit of a different video this week because you know if there's one thing I probably love more than fragrance, it's MMA. And there is a massive, massive fight card this weekend, UFC 300. Now on paper, guys, let me tell you, this is one of the greatest fight cards ever assembled. Now, will it live up to the hype? I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see. But I'm gonna do it because from the early prelims, which if you know with other pay-per-views, it's usually guys that are like new in their careers or you know maybe have a couple fights under their belt. So not really the big names because the stadium's empty. This one starts off, I don't even know, it's just crazy to think that this is the first fight of the night. And so let's just get into it. The first fight of the night is gonna be Davison Figueredo, yes, the former strawweight champ against former bantamweight champ, Cody Garbrandt. Now, crazy thing is, if you guys have been watching MMA, you know Cody Garbrandt has been through a lot of ups and downs. Well, he's only 32, which is crazy. This is gonna be one of the best fights, I think, of the evening, especially on paper. I am leaning with Davison Figueredo because I feel like now that he doesn't have to cut the weight and it was an impressive victory against Rob Font, I think he can check, uh, you know, Garbrandt's chin because, you know, he's been knocked out a few times. I'm rooting for Cody because I got to meet him and he's a great guy. But I do think Figueredo is going to win that fight. So that'll be the first fight of the night. And that, like I said, what a way to kickstart this event. Now, the next one will be Bobby Green against Jim Miller. Now, guys, it's crazy to think that Jim Miller fought in UFC 100. UFC 200, and he's about to fight in UFC 300. It's just insane, and it's crazy, and he's been a bit on a little bit of a roll. Bobby Green, he's just weird. He's hit and miss. Sometimes he's good, sometimes he's not. He has the talent there, but I'm actually going to go with Jim Miller. Maybe it's just because I want to see him win, and I think he'll ride off into the sunset at that point. Uh, so I definitely want to see him win, and I think he will pull it off because, like I said, I don't really trust Bobby Green. So that's, like I said, that's the second fight. The next one. Is such a great strawweight fight. It's former champ Jessica Andrade, and she is fighting uh, Marina Rodriguez. I don't know. You probably have to say it a different way in Brazilian uh, standpoint because it's a last name like that. But anyways, I think Jessica Andrade will win because at strawweight, remember, remember she was champ, and she has. I think it's just a more comfortable weight for her than when she moved up. So I think she'll win the fight. It'll be a good fight again because they're both action fighters. So that'll be a good one. The next one is at lightweight. And this one, I think, also will be a banging fight. It's Renato, uh, Renato Meccano against Jalen Turner. Both are in the top 15. Meccano brings it every time. He's an action fighter. I just think Jalen Turner, I think he's starting around the corner. I think he's starting to show his full element as a fighter. And I have him winning that fight. So those are the early prelims, y'all. The prelims will then start. And the first fight of that will be featherweight. And it's... So Sadiq, Sadiq Youssef against Diego Lopez. I don't know. I'm torn on this fight. I keep flip-flopping back and forth because Youssef is good. Diego Lopez seems like he's hitting his stride. I think I'm going to go with Lopez. I don't know. It's a tough call, but we'll go with Lopez. That'll be another action fight. Now, this one I'm kind of torn on. Now, if you guys have watched PFL, Kayla Harrison was a champ there, and she was pretty dominant there. She's fighting... 42-year-old Holly Holm. Now, I will say this, and this is where I'm kind of torn, because Holly Holm, even though she's 42, I think stylistically she matches up well in this fight against Harrison. But because Holm's been through a lot, she's 42, I'm going to go with Kayla Harrison. I'm not 100% confident on that pick, but I just think, you know, she wants to prove herself because everybody was saying she was fighting tomato cans and PFL, so... She's got to come with it. So I think she will, but I'm not 100% confident about that fight. Next one, featherweight, former Bantamweight champ. Uh, Aljamain Sterling is moving up to featherweight, and he's fighting a very tough opponent, Calvin Cater. This will be another great fight because, you know, as you guys know, if you watch Calvin Cater, he brings it. But I think Aljamain, with not having to cut that much weight, I think he'll be successful. And I think he'll win that fight there. Again, it'll be another, another great fight. This is a light heavyweight bout, which to me, I think has title implications for the main event. It is former champ, Yuri Prohaska, and he's fighting against Alexander Rakic. Now, I thought at one point that when Yuri was champ, this could have been the, you know, a title fight for him. I really do think that the winner of this fight will fight the winner of Pereira versus Jamal Hill, which is the main event. 
I'm going to go with Prohaska. He's a beast. He's a monster. He's a great fighter. Rakic is great too. And this is going to be a very great stylistic matchup. But I'm going to roll with Yuri to win the fight. It's crazy if you guys think about this. Because that is on the prelims. And that's like a, basically a title number one to contender spot. Absolutely amazing. That's what I'm telling you guys. I'm so stoked about this card. Now, main card time. Now, a lot of people are... Not happy about this fight being the first card of the main card. I get why the UFC did it, because they're trying to hype up Bo Nickel. So Bo Nickel taking his undefeated record to fight against Cody Brundridge. I'm kind of sold on Bo Nickel from what I saw. He has the wrestling credentials. It looks like he has some power in there as well. I have him winning this fight, continuing his streak. Um, and then maybe he'll get a top 15 guy after that. That's what I kind of hope to see. But UFC is moving him along pretty quickly. And so far, like I, said, I think he lives up to the hype. Now, I think this next fight is the fight that I'm looking forward to the most because I don't feel like a lot of people agree with me on this next fight. This is, to me, the winner of this will probably fight Islam Makachaev um, if he doesn't fight Dustin Poirier for the belt. And this is former champ Charles Oliveira fighting against Armand Sarukian. Guys, if you've been watching me on lives and everything like that, you know that I'm very high on Sarukian. It's what I've been telling you guys for one of my picks for 2024 is I think he will become champ and I really feel he'll beat Charles in here I'm that confident I don't bet on fights guys but I bet with my cousin on this fight with money like I said I don't I don't think you guys should gamble I just put $20 on the fight but that's how confident I am about this pick I really think Sarukian gets his done he'll fight Islam and I think like I said we'll, we'll see what happens from there the next fight this is guys for the BMF title this, I might, I think this might steal the show as the fight of the night. If you really look at it, everything on paper, it's Justin Gaethje versus Max Holloway. Max Holloway's moving up to lightweight. Um, both of these guys bring it. Both of these guys are action fighters. It sucks because both guys are very humble and very great. And I got to meet Gaethje and he's a nice guy. I hate to see, I hate this matchup because I think one of these, one of these guys will lose and I don't want to see these guys lose. I'm going to go with Justin because I just don't think Max will be able to take his power. Max has never been knocked out. But I think if there is a fight that scares me for him getting knocked out, it is Justin Gaethje. Because he ruins people's careers. And I think that's what's going to happen here. I think it's a bad idea for Max to take this fight. I think he's going to get hurt. I actually think he's going to get stopped. But it will be, as long as it lasts, it will be an action-packed fight. And I cannot wait for that one. The co-main event, these ladies bring it. And from what I've heard, these two ladies do not like each other. Two Chinese fighters going against each other. It's the champ, Wei Li Zhang. And I remember against Yan Yunan. I hope I said that right. I, I think Wei Li is just, she gets better every fight. I know she had her stumbles against Rose. But I just think as you, if you watch her, she's getting better every fight, every fight. She's just improving in everything. She's And she's very well-rounded. I think Wei Lee's going to win this fight. I'm pretty confident in that pick as well. Because I guess, and Yan, like I said, Yan Yonan is pretty damn underrated. But just, it's Wei Lee. She's a champ. And like I said, you just watch her. She's getting better every fight. And the main event, the light heavyweight championship. Now, Jamal Hill, guys, if you know, he did not lose his belt. He relinquished it, which a lot of fighters don't do, which is mad respect to him for that. He got hurt and he didn't want to hold the division hostage. So he relinquished his belt. So he never really lost. Well, he's trying to claim what's his against the now champ, Alex Pereira, who moved up. And the guy's is a two-division champ. It's crazy to think in his short career, he's already a two-division champ. This fight is going to be a great stylistic fight. Jamal's got power. Alex has got power. To me, the mistake Jamal might make is if he keeps the standing, which he says he wants to do because he wants to prove to everybody that Alex can be finished and he has better stand-up. I'm going to go with Alex Pereira to re retain his championship and hopefully, like I said, fight either Rakish or Yuri Prohaska in the guys. But this is such a loaded fight. I usually don't make picks. It's usually just the main card. But like I said, this is so loaded. I had to do it for this. I cannot wait for UFC throwing. I'm wondering what your guys' picks are going to be. And if you guys stay, go on my TikTok live, I will do after the fights are over, I'll do a recap of everything. St guys, UFC 300, amazing. Like I said, if there's one thing I love probably more than Fragrance, it's MMA. Let's effing go, guys. Like, subscribe, and comment. Hit that bell, gives you notifications. And I promise it will be, of course, the perfume videos. Like I said, this is just a once in a while thing. Jufro!